1996 uh, Chevy 1500. It has a, a fuel gauge problem, as you can see. Where is it? Right. As you can see right there, whenever you even try turning it on or just leaving it off, the uh, the fuel just stays all the way up above full. It's just as if it's not grounded. Usually a common problem with the uh, the Chevy 1500s is that whenever it's not grounded well, you'll have this issue where the a gauge goes above full. No matter what you do, it'll just stay above full and it'll move within between the F and the overflow. Um, but what I found on mine, it wasn't actually a ground. It was, uh, I went ahead and took off the, the bed. I lifted it up on a pulley. And I already had it right here so I could get access to the tank. Which, in order to take off the bed, you have to take off eight main bolts from underneath. Take off all eight, lift the bed, move up the truck a little bit. What I found on my problem was, right here I have my old one. I already put a new one, but I'm going to explain it on the old one. Here's this, it was this little system right here. This little system that's connected right here was attached right here. Except whenever whenever it moved, the, the system kind of like broke and pieces fell off of it. And whenever it's moving, it wasn't, it wasn't actually sending anything because there's nothing connected to this little piece right here. The little piece that's supposed to be connected uh, to the end right here. That whenever this floater moves, it'll send a, it'll go against this and like full empty and it'll move along that as in the one that I'll show you in a little bit but that whole little piece was missing it must have found the tank or rusted out and just rotted so what I did I got another I bought another used I used the fuel sender from a from a yard pulled it out myself and this is what I'm talking about right there see if you look closely right there this little plastic is what's missing on that one. See this one, that one doesn't even have this plastic right here. And that thing, whenever it moves, see it pulls the plastic and it goes along those lines. Right there, as you can see, see that little, the little white stick moving? And that goes along the, that coil over there. And that sends to the gauge how much fuel you have, either empty or full. But on this one, it's completely gone. I mean, the whole system is just racked. So what I'm going to do, I just... I got another one, switched the components, stuck it back in, and let me show you what it, what it does. Or pretty much that's just, we could do it manually without even sticking it back in. You can have this out. Hook up the wire. Give me two seconds. I have the one, the new one hooked up. Right there, it's on empty because it's this floaters all the way down. So right when we turn the key, as you can see, it's above. It's above the full. But whenever I turn it on, look at that, it goes all the way to empty just because my floater's down. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move the floater a little bit like this, so it could so you could see how it uh, the gas gauge moves as well. We're about to move it up. As you can see, the, the left left top gauge on those four small ones is going to begin to move up. You see that? See, I'm moving it with my hand, and look, so I can make it. You see it moving? Right there. And that's me moving this. Right there. And that's it. Moving. All I have to do is pretty much put the system back in and I mean put the system right here. Take a couple of seconds. It'll take about maybe an hour because you have to take off the two lights on the back, take off the wires, pull up the bed, it'll take about an hour. Or if you work faster you get faster than that and just wiring here and a couple of hoses you're gonna have to pull out before you pull out the sender. But other than that, I mean, that's if you have the same problem and your fuel gauge is usually up, it's they say it's usually the floater system, the gauge, or it can be there is a ground right here that connects to this bolt. And if your ground is broken, 
they say your uh, a common problem with the 1500s is that the gauge will just stay up just as it was before but except my problem was the gauge was all the way up showing above full except uh, and uh, my whole sender unit a floater system was all screwed but I mean if you have that same problem I mean that's it'll be easy to fix it'll probably take tops like two hours to fix the whole thing maybe a, long, a little longer if you go buy another one which won't take long that's it alright thanks for watching